Yes, that's Medusa. And no, you can't romance her. She's a little too focused on growing her statue collection, and she thinks you'd be a perfect addition. Good thing you're the baddest fighter in all of Greece by the time you meet her, because who wants to end their odyssey encased in stone? Come on, walk it off, because that's just the start of what she can do. She'll keep you guessing by zipping around her lair at superhuman speeds, tripping you up with energy blasts from the sky, and summoning stone warriors while protected by a force field. And if that doesn't work, she's also real good at just stabbing you. Medusa and her monstrous ilk aren't something you'll just stumble into like a bear in a cave. These fights are reserved for high-level players, and they go far beyond what you'll face while wandering the countryside or sailing the Mediterranean. Finding them takes more legwork than just tracking down a creature's lair and putting a spear through its face, and you'll probably have to go through some misguided human foes before you even get there. For example, in Medusa's case, the quest begins in Erosos, a little village on the island of Lesbos, where an angry mob is getting ready to push a woman off a cliff. She must face justice. The villagers are convinced the woman, whose name is Brees, sacrificed her lover, Legia, to something called the Writhing Dread. The mob wants an execution, not justice, so right away we're showing them who's boss by kicking a few soldiers off the cliff. Brees' innocence doesn't mean the monster isn't real, of course. Legia's trail leads away from the village and into the heart of a twisting, petrified forest filled with eerily lifelike statues. And snakes. So many snakes. At the heart of it all is, yep, that's a first civilization ruin, all right. Artifacts left behind by humanity's hyper-advanced precursors are always causing supernatural trouble in Assassin's Creed, meaning the writhing dread is likely something they left behind. Getting inside the temple takes a little doing, though. The key is hidden in a village of warrior women on the nearby island of Chios, and before you head over there, you might want to stop and talk to a retired mercenary who claims to have vanquished the creature before. In keeping with Odyssey's new navigation system, you'll be given a few clues to where they are, but actually finding them takes some exploration. Every step of this journey has the potential to explode into conflict. The mercenary won't reveal anything too useful or give up his Gorgon slaying spear without a fight. And the warrior women turn out to be extremely hostile to outsiders. They also shoot fire arrows that can annihilate your health in seconds even if your level is maxed out. And when you combine that with their pet wolves and bears, a stealthy approach will probably get better results than a head-on assault. On the way to either destination, you might find yourself testing your luck in the trap-filled tomb of Orpheus, or daring to investigate why a boat that sits abandoned in a bay is surrounded by blood. Oh, it's this guy. You could burn a few storehouses to destabilize the local tyrant, hunt deer in the hills, indulge in a little piracy, or cross swords with some masked creeps in a cave. The open world of Odyssey is full of cool discoveries, beautiful vistas, and secret treasures. So taking the long route can be rewarding. Also, given that this demo was with a level 50 character, we had a chance to try out high-end abilities like ghost arrows, which can go through solid objects to land perfect headshots, and how did we ever survive without them? Once it's time to venture into the heart of the mystery and confront the Queen of Snakes, you'll find a powerful foe who wants nothing more than to turn you into another statue for her collection. Keep clear of her laser-like stone gaze, and you might survive long enough to send Medusa to Hades. You can start on the path to challenging Medusa, along with just about every mercenary and villain in ancient Greece, on October 5th, when Assassin's Creed Odyssey launches on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. To find out more, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, available October 5th.